We hope you are having a great day. Missouri, it's a destination with personality. And what makes for a great Missouri vacation? Well, it depends on who you ask. In Missouri, there's a mo for every mo. And this week, we discover the many sides of Missouri with culture mo. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Our first stop on Missouri's culture tour, one of the country's greatest urban public parks, Forest Park, right in the heart of St. Louis. It's an iconic view that symbolizes St. Louis, the Grand Basin with its beautiful fountains, and high above, the St. Louis Art Museum. People should come here just to relax and have a leisurely stroll through our galleries. There's always interesting things to see and enjoy and share. It's a really great place just to come and have fun. This museum is among the top 10 comprehensive art museums in the country. Our collection spans work from every continent except Antarctica and from all time periods of human creation, from earliest times all the way up to the present years. So we really have a broad collection, something that would please anybody. This is their most valuable collection. All of this was made with molten bronze in a mold thousands and thousands of years ago. These Chinese bronzes were vessels that were buried with the dead. One of the most popular exhibits. This is our most famous painting by George Caleb Bingham, the Missouri artist. And he's focusing here on the St. Louis Wharf on the Mississippi River. There are six of his paintings on view. My favorite exhibit is the Impressionist Landscape Gallery, which includes Monet's water lilies. This panel is actually part of a group of three panels that all depict his in incredible water lily pond that he built for himself at Giverny, France. There are additional Monet's on display, plus several Van Goghs, and this highly recognizable Degas sculpture, The Little Dancer. So right now in our main exhibition galleries, we're featuring Nubia treasures of ancient Africa. And this is an exhibition of over 300 works of art, all from the ancient kingdom of Nubia, which was located just south of ancient Egypt thousands of years ago in the Nile River Valley. Just across the park, we find our next stop. The Muni is the nation's largest and longest running outdoor theater. Accessible to all, this is where you come to see Broadway under the stars. The Muni is the Municipal Theater Association of St. Louis. And musical theater has been performed here continuously for a very long time. The Muni started on this location, this exact spot, in 1919, 103 years ago, between two mighty oak trees. Unfortunately, the 2020 season was canceled due to COVID, but shows will resume this summer. So we're excited about the 2021 season. We're going to see great shows like Chicago, On Your Feet, Sound and Music, but it's an opportunity to get back to normal. Actors love to perform here. For the actors, this is a one-of-a-kind, once-in-a-lifetime experience to do what they love, musical theater, outside under the stars for an audience of 11,000 people. The longevity of this place shows just how much the community cares about musical theater. There are families who've been part of this place for seven generations. But if you're not able to purchase seats, you're not out of luck. And this is where the free seats line up. So. Where are the free seats exactly? So they're all right back in here. Oh, so they're actually seats? 1,500 free seats, first oh. come, first serve every night and that's about being accessible to all. Three and a half miles from the Muni, you'll find one of my favorite spots. For beauty, for history, for art and architecture, this place has it all. This is the brand new temporary visitor center at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Right now, the new and improved Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center is under construction. It will open in the fall of 2022. The Missouri Botanical Garden opened in 1859 and it is the oldest continuously operating botanical garden in the country. There are 79 beautiful acres here, made up of all different types of gardens. One of the most popular destinations at the garden is the Japanese garden. It is 14 acres, so it's one of the largest Japanese gardens in North America. It is peaceful, serene, a beautiful place that has beauty in all four seasons. Perhaps the most iconic building at the garden 
is the Climatron. It has 1,400 different plant species in a tropical rainforest setting. And it's nice and toasty on a chilly day. A big draw in the summer is the water lilies. The Victorias are some of our visitors' favorites and they can reach nine feet across. They're the world's largest water lily and we have everything from the largest to the smallest, which is just a couple inches across. While numerous sculptures can be found scattered around the garden year round, right now they're hosting a special exhibit. The garden is hosting Origami in the Garden through October. This is a monumental sculpture exhibit with 18 large-scale metal sculptures throughout the garden telling the story of origami. Speaking of art, on the Mississippi Riverfront, along Route 66, across urban areas, and in small towns, hundreds of murals tell Missouri's story. Artists put their talents on public display in cities all over, where murals are a natural draw for locals and visitors alike. They depict the life and times as the artists see them. A pleasant drive southwest of St. Genevieve, you'll find the Crown Valley Winery. It's a beautiful drive to get here. We're located out in the countryside. Our winery is open on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 6. Cheers! From April through October. They grow seven types of grapes used to produce their wine selections. We have a really large wine list. We have multiple choices for each type of wine, so you're sure to find one you're going to like. We have a very large covered patio. We have multiple seating locations, and all of them share the beautiful view of the countryside in the background as well as the miles of vineyards. We're an all-inclusive destination. You can come and visit the winery and the brewery and stay the weekend. We do have lodging nearby that we rent out. Staying in the St. Genevieve area, we find more art to enjoy. So music art love is an experience, actually. It's not only an eclectic gallery and boutique, but it's also an innovative, interactive space and a creative hot spot where we have open mic nights, yoga classes, improv classes, music showcases. You can use the house instruments, play games, there's a kids corner. It's really a community feel here. You'll find lots of unique things in the gallery from all over the world. So I was a flight attendant for 31 years. A lot of the things that I have in the gallery are from my travels. We also have a lot of rock memorabilia. I think that's a lot of fun and some of our clothes are a little bit unique. Much of the art on display is made from upcycled materials crafted by outside artists, but also by the owner herself. My specialty is what I call guitar. It's salvaged guitars turned into artwork. Always on the lookout to rescue thrown out guitars, she gives them new life as these eclectic art pieces. We get all ages, all walks of life that come in and everybody just joins together through this community vibe. All across Missouri, for Watch Your M.O., I'm Kristen Cornett. How fun! And to find your M.O. and plan a trip, you can go to visitmo.com.